What's going on guys? Jax the Bearded Hiker here. Homestyle cream corn using real corn. You're going to want to throw away this hot mess. Alright, so what we're going to do is we've got 12 slices of bacon here is our first step. We're going to go ahead and fry these up until they're crispy. So while your bacon's frying up, we're going to go ahead and shuck this corn. Now I have eight ears of corn here. I don't think there's any need for me to show you how to shuck corn. So uh, I'm sure there's probably some YouTube uh, videos on that. But anyway, well, so after we shuck all of these pieces of ears of corn, we're going to shave this corn off the cob. Pro tip, when you shuck your corn, leave this nubbin on the end. It'll give you something to hold on to while you're shucking this stuff. All right, now the shave. And you're just going to go down just like that get as much of the kernels as you can so check this out don't throw that when you're done shaving this don't throw the cobs away because we're gonna go back in a little while and we're gonna shave them again and get the milk out of the cob part so we got all our, our bacon crispy and we've got all of our kernels off of our corn so we're gonna go ahead throw it in the hot grease from the bacon might need a little bit of a bigger pan here uh, stir this around for about one minute. All right, guys, here we go. One and a half teaspoons of Himalayan sea salt or regular kosher salt and one teaspoon of pepper going in. And just give that a stir. All right, next up, I got one cup of heavy cream going in. Now, you don't want to... We're going to turn our heat down to medium. And we're going to simmer it for a little while until this stuff thickens, okay? But before we do that, we're just going to add in an optional uh, pinch of cayenne here. Just a pinch like that. Again, that is optional. Okay, so while we got that going on, pay attention, pay attention. Knife. Here's our ear of corn cob. Turn it to the back, okay? Don't use the front because it's going to get into the cob so you don't want to get into the cob you just want to do it and this flat surface is going to help push that milk and get all those starches and stuff out and you just want to go around your cob like that and you can see i don't know if you can see it but that milk is coming out and just do that to all your cobs okay i left a little bit in here okay so you guys could see this is what you want it's kind of like a a mush and I don't know if you can see the liquid in there anyway go ahead stir that in and we're just gonna simmer this till it thickens and I'll show you what it looks like when it's thick so we've simmered that corn up we've transferred it back to a little bit of a presentation here okay now next step is go ahead garnish with your bacon and then of course after we taste this and take pictures and whatnot, we'll uh, stir that in. And then I've got some, uh, I don't know, about a teaspoon of chives here that we've chopped up. This is gonna be fantastic. All right, guys, let's give this a try. All right, I'm gonna get some bacon, some corn, and some of that chive here. I know this is gonna be good, guys. We cook this all the time at my house, and a lot of times what I do is we're having flounder tonight, and it's going to sound kind of weird, but I like to lay this corn out on the plate and then put my grilled flounder on top of it. It's so delicious. It pairs very well. Second thing I use this for is cornbread. I make a jalapeno goat cheese cornbread that is so versatile, and I put this cream corn in that cornbread. It's so delicious. You can check out some of those videos, you know, maybe up here in the cards if I have made one yet. But anyway, let's, let's give this a try. That right there will make you slap your mama. It's so good, guys. I'm telling you, it's a little bit of added effort instead of the can kind, but this is worth every second of the effort. Homestyle, cream corn, do it. <laughs> 